guys, Chris here from ManabolicMen.com where we bring you 100% research-backed men's health advice. Now today we're going to talk about the topic of saw palmetto because if you walk into any GNC, you go to Bodybuilding.com, Amazon, whatever, you're looking for test boosters, you're, maybe you're looking for a prostate supplement, uh, you are going to run into saw palmetto. To cut straight to the chase, our official Anabolic Men recommendation on saw palmetto is that you should skip it. Don't take it. First, an anecdotal story, and then I'm going to show you a list of studies and reasons why you should not take saw palmetto. So first off, I actually uh, have heard, you know, the, the fact with Ali and I, we've been doing this for years, teaching, you know, men's health, hormonal health online. So we've gotten tons and tons of emails. Now, saw palmetto is something that keeps coming up in these, these emails anecdotally as people having problems and having adverse reactions to taking the saw palmetto. Now the worst case of this was actually I did some consulting about a year ago with a guy who runs a very well-known clothing brand that he personally had taken, and there's a small population of people where, of, of men where this becomes an issue, took uh, saw palmetto and had a massively adverse reaction to it to the point where his whole body, he had to actually take, stop working and go on a quest to figure out what was wrong with his body because it just just fucked it up for lack of a better word. He was completely down and out uh, and he couldn't, at first he couldn't realize what was happening, like why this was happening. Ended up tracking it back eventually to the saw palmetto causing the issues, then looked it up and found that there was there were actually a lot of guys who when they take saw palmetto have a very, very adverse reaction to the point where it's a very serious uh, medical reaction where you need you know, a, a long amount of uh, recovery and rehab from taking it. So that alone, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even mess with it because you could be in that small percentage of guys where that is your issue. However, I'm gonna show you some studies right now uh, that talk about why you should not take saw palmetto. Now this first one is probably one of the most important reasons why is, uh, and I'll put this up on the screen right now, saw palmetto increases testosterone levels by blocking DHT production. So basically what it does is it'll inhibit the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, similar to the way fenugreek works. Now fenugreek, we did another video on fenugreek, so you can go check that one out, but it works the same way. It will only, it's basically a false increase in testosterone because what it does is it blocks the testosterone conversion to DHT, which is a more potent androgen it's something that you want to have healthy DHT levels, but it, it'll block the, it'll inhibit the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, which is responsible for that. And what happens is you have much lower DHT levels and you have higher T only because it's blocking this conversion. So it's kind of a false positive, if that makes sense. Now, this study right here also found out similar results where the saw palmetto, in, again, inhibited the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, again, blocking uh, DHT conversion. This study right here found that saw palmetto can have a side effect of minor sexual dysfunction, which isn't really a surprise when it does block the, you know, the DHT conversion because that is responsible, largely responsible for your sexual function. So for people that end up taking saw palmetto to help with sexual, sexual function, you should know this because it actually is, has been found to cause sexual dysfunction. So this study right here found that saw palmetto might help men who have enlarged prostates, uh, which, which is basically known as BPH. Uh, so you'll see that everywhere. It's a benign prostate hyperplasia. Um, however, if, if uh, you're going to you know, have all these negative effects, these negative hormonal effects causing sexual dysfunction just to you know, maybe help with your BPH, then I don't think it's worth it. There are other things you can do. Now this study right here saw a 32% decrease in DHT after uh, saw palmetto supplementation. And they also found that, they also, they also checked out the, the uh, drug finasteride, which is a popular hair loss drug. And there are, there, finasteride wrecks men. You can, you can search for finasteride support forums. There, there are whole forums full of people that are trying to recover from taking finasteride. So they found that finasteride and saw palmetto had a similar effect on the human body. So I would stay away from this stuff. Now this study found, right here we'll put up on the screen, found that men that used 300 milligrams of daily saw palmetto for three months had higher testosterone but way lower DHT levels than the control group. And again, this is just corroborating again in humans. This is what happens when you take saw palmetto. You might see higher T, 
but you're going to feel much worse. You're going to have sexual dysfunction issues because it's blocking the DHT conversion. So in conclusion, just to wrap this up, I'll reiterate again, there are much better ways to increase your testosterone levels naturally rather than take salt palmetto. There are, you know, you could follow anything in the test shock program. Uh, it talks about all the nutrition, training, lifestyle stuff, uh, what chemicals to avoid, that sort of thing. Uh, you could also take Testro X. The ingredients in Testro X, this is the best testosterone boosting formula on the market. Uh, everything in it has human peer reviewed studies backing up increases in testosterone. Or you could just take any of the ingredients in it on their own, it will help. But saw palmetto and fenugreek are not a good way to naturally increase your testosterone because what they're going to do is block the conversion of DHT and you'll run into a whole host of problems and you're not going to feel good. You might even have high testosterone levels because of this, but you won't feel the same way as if you had high testosterone levels, you know, using better methods because your DHT will be very low. So that is the truth about saw palmetto. Uh, that is the, our official stance on anabolic men with respect to saw palmetto. That's our advice. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the, these videos in general and you want to subscribe and, and uh, get more of them, go ahead and subscribe right now and I'll see you on the next video.